Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Now before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription helps to build the channel. You know what's even better? Tell all your friends about it. That's what's even better. Tell them about the best wine show anywhere. All right, so time to do the second of three wines I'm reviewing from the River Road Family Vineyards. Uh, all of them are Chardonnays made in three different ways. Now, I gave you the very brief rundown on the winery in the last show, but to refresh your memory, uh, this winery is owned by Ron Rubin, who also has a namesake winery. He is also the owner of the Republic of Tea brand. Now, without further ado, here are the stats for the wine. The 2020 River Road Family Vineyards Unoaked Chardonnay. Suggested retail price is $13.99. California is the appellation. It's Chardonnay. No percentage is given. Uh, not downing is 100% Chardonnay, but legally it only needs to be 75% Chardonnay, but I'm sure it's 100%. It's 100% stainless steel as far as aging and fermenting and all that fun stuff. The alcohol is 12.5%. The TA is 5.2 grams per liter and the pH is 3.61. All right, so let's get into this wine. As I grab one of the Coravin screw cap Dealey Bobbers. A big fan of that. You don't have to worry about screw caps. Now, the one thing I do have to make sure I do is drink all my screw cap wines from this session of our 20 some odd wines within about, well, I can go about five months, honestly. I did that test of a couple years ago with uh, some Gruner. So a high acid wine. And it lasted like Five and a half months. I didn't record the last time I tried it, but we got the three months and it was still like the, the difference in a new bottle versus that bottle was almost imperceptible. So the heck was that? It kind of sprayed all over the place. Huh. All right. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to check that again. Make sure that it's working right. Yeah, it is. Okay. Just wasting gas. Luckily, I got another capsule here. All righty. So color-wise, um, we've got some, you know, a uh, little bit of yellow. More of a green. It's really actually pretty green. Call it medium minus concentration on that yellow green so green usually you know just young but chardonnay you know does tend to have a lot of green to it or it can so yeah let's check it out so here's a here's a little fun fact so like i said i've been i've been doing all these out of order so some future episodes so for future mark because this is past mark the albarinos the vino verdes and the rias baixas stuff seem to have more carbonation, more bubbles in the wine after doing all this than this wine. So keep that in your head next few several weeks or a couple months down the road when I go, carbonation, a lot of carbonation there. Yeah, because those wines probably have a little bit of actual carbonation in them. Got a little bug over there. I don't know if you can see it. No, it might be off camera now. So medium minus on the aromatics. I mean, I really got to stick my nose in here, which is not unusual for Chardonnay, especially on oak Chardonnay. We have oak Chardonnay that went through like massive, 100% malolactic and like all this new oak on there. That really is what gives you that aromatics, whereas just Chardonnay itself is kind of a neutral grape. Not super neutral, but it, it kind of takes whatever you throw at it and just like really accepts it. It's like chicken. Chicken is like, by itself, chicken is kind of like a plain, like, protein. But you put sauces and seasoning on it and all that kind of stuff, and you grill it a certain way. It really takes in all those flavors, like a blank canvas. Chardonnay, in my opinion, is very much like the chicken of wine. 
it can be made in so many different ways. And while it does have a certain, like, like chicken, it will have a certain flavor, it will accept really well the techniques you're using in the winery to really bring out certain, certain uh, characteristics. So I do get a little bit of popcorn, as I usually do for Chardonnay, but it's really slight. So this may not have, even though it's all stainless, it may not have been um, so much of a reductive environment. I smell a little bit more, but you get like yellow apple, green apple, a hint of orange, and of course no oak. This is my style Chardonnay, all right? So <clears throat> really crisp, linear, You've got some good minerality to it. This, I wouldn't call this like, this is not, I wouldn't necessarily confuse this with Chablis, but there is a tartness to the fruit. I think it's because of the acid. Because you, you can really, you can really feel this decent acid on this. Uh, there's that kind of apple skin. There's a little bit of bitterness to it. We call it phenolic bitterness. Get a little bit of apple skin on it, like a green apple skin. You also get green apple, a little golden apple. There's a little bit of richness to it. Yeah, we didn't talk about we didn't talk about Lee's aging, and we didn't talk about we didn't talk about mallow. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, even though I, I really taste the acid, looking at the numbers, this is not a high acid wine. I mean, pH is like right in the center, three point six one. Like that's what you want. You want your pH like three six, three six five. Acid's not super high. I just think it's because it's unoaked. You really in, in the oak isn't like smoothing things out. It also may not have gone through any mallow or partial mallow. So it really retained the acidity. But yeah. But I think there's a bit of there's might have been a little bit of least contact to this. The last week's wine, which I actually haven't tasted yet, is surly. So it probably has a more richness to it. This maybe has a little bit, might be a little mallow, but I think there's a little bit of broadness to it. It's really delicious. This is definitely closer to the style of Chardonnay that I like, unoaked, clean, crisp. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I, I say if this is your style of wine, seek it out. It's not expensive. It's what, 13 bucks, $14? Yeah, man get you some. All right. It's going to do it for the wine. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button too. And then tell your friends. And until next time, drink some cool Chardonnay.